morning rumor. Come on. You didn't make it all the way, rumor. Somebody needs her pills. All right. I don't know if I told you guys. I know what you're hearing right now is rumor coffin, but we think she might be kind of cured a little. Maybe, sort of, kind of, maybe. Because her coughing has really relaxed. It might be the fact that I give her four pills twice a day. And, you know, it might also just be that, uh, you know, the vet wasn't lying when they said if we pay if we just pay two hundred dollars a month, if we get to keep our dog. It's more of a leasing program, you know. Ew, it's gross from her. This is what I've settled on. Chicken in a bag. It smells a little bit like farts. But she, So, I take a little glob like that. It's so funny because I had to give her so much cheese and everything just to get her to take that one pill. But this stuff's so good, she will literally just eat that. Just a bunch of pills in some mush. Nunchuck. Come on. How is it only the pills fall? This is usually not this hard. Give it to her on the spoon since she has to kind of work to get it off. Yeah. Now for the part that she hates. Right, Rumor? Which one's your left ear? Always messes my head up. This one. This one. This is gonna make her cough. Oh, it's a rumor. I forgot I had to shake it. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm going to Massage your ear. Oh, I should find some goodies on the ground. <laughs> what do you keep eating? You foolish monster. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is happening?
force it down her throat. <laughs> that I feel like is traumatic for all of us. Remember you get another glob of stinky chicken here. There you go. Covered it right up that time. Let's see if this works this time. Did you know your pills that time? So. Now I gotta feed her. She's not interested in this because this doesn't taste like rotten chicken and slime. find it so funny. She coughs so much, right? Creates a little bit of pressure in her and all that good stuff. So she farts. She's never farted before. I've been hanging out with Rumor since she was a baby. And she has never farted. And missed opportunities, really. Because this is hilarious. She starts coughing. She goes like, meh, meh, and then pfft. Quite amazing. Oh. Doesn't taste like chicken, does it, Rumor? I mean, it is like salmon or something. Uh, weight management. You never told me you were on a diet, Rumor. Hey Google, turn on the living room and kitchen lights. Got it, turning on six lights. Thanks. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Dartmouth, there'll be scattered showers with a forecasted high of seven and a low of zero. Right now, it's seven degrees and cloudy. Some eggnog. So I am gonna make a latte with eggnog. I'll let you know how it goes. Alright, so this is what we got going on. Four shots of espresso and a little bit of eggnog. That's pretty good. I think I don't like the eggnog as much because it makes it sweet. But that's pretty good, though. I don't know. I think I'll have to drink the whole thing very quickly and uh, let you know after. Mm. Yeah, it's growing on me. All right, well, we are going to... Uh, going to uh, pick up a TV um, Arlen wants uh, wants to pick up a TV from online I don't know I guess they want it for the basement or something but yeah so I'll go pick it up 
It's just weird because we haven't like got out of the house today. Laura said it's amazing. Yeah. All right, Laura, what am I getting? Some cheddar veggie sticks, baby. Cheddar veggie sticks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Getting her some cheddar veggie sticks. I might get something to eat. Because bad life choices, that's why. All right, so I'm going to get some cheddar veggie sticks. Um, yeah, just been in bed all day. Uh, so with everything with COVID going on, um, we had an idea for a <clears throat> for a Christmas present for Laura's parents. Um, so we had a friend of mine who's a, I guess I, I say a friend, a guy I know from school, like, or acquaintances, I guess, at this point. But uh, anyway, he's uh, he's an executive chef at a local restaurant, like a head chef for a restaurant. And our Christmas present plan was he was going to, we were going to give him the money like the week before, and then he would go out and he would get the groceries to do it. And then, you know, uh, we were going to, like, pay him and that whatever but he was going to come to Laura's parents like the penthouse and he was going to make a private a private meal for them and so I thought that was a really good idea but <clears throat> we actually broke the surprise to them just a few minutes ago because and they were very happy about it but we're going to put it on hold with all the COVID stuff when we made these plans originally COVID was still going on, of course, but our province, like Nova Scotia, was, we had zero cases. Um, so the idea was going to be, we do that just because nobody's really feeling super comfortable going out to restaurants and stuff now. And so I thought we'd do that. I thought that was such a good idea. And we're going to plan it for the new year. So it's still going to happen. Um, but he was going to make a very fancy dinner uh, I guess it was going to be beef tenderloin and fancy carrots so yeah I thought that like yeah it, it would have worked out perfect if COVID didn't get in the way like if we were still at like you know one or two cases or something and I mean I mean we're only at a couple hundred now but it, it is still they're not super young you know what I mean so like they're the, like just you know they are at more risk and stuff so we thought we would uh, let them know now and just see how comfortable they felt having of course it's two strangers and they're coming into your home so it's a whole thing but they uh, but they they said it's a uh, you know they're super happy about the idea but it's just, I don't think we're doing it right now. We're gonna look for maybe setting it up maybe in the new year, like I said, or at some point. Um, yeah. I thought it was a really neat idea. And I, I know they do too, like I'm not. But I thought it was a really neat idea and it just kind of popped in my head because uh, I think Elizabeth said her friends are getting their parents like a a very similar thing it's like an executive but it's like a test tasting or something so I'm, I wanted I was like oh, I know a guy who's a chef I wonder if he would do that and I messaged him and yeah it's kind of a cool idea um, I'm excited and it will still happen like I said I just uh, yeah we uh, we had to postpone it for now but all right okay. all right well I did something folks <clears throat> I was gonna just stay home and do nothing. Instead, I went to KFC and got a uh, a box. 
I don't really know. Comes with two small pieces of chicken. A sandwich. Small popcorn chicken. And I got the poutine. So yeah. Very good. I've never been a huge fan of poutine, but this is a poutine. Some Sometimes because I'm from Canada, I just think everybody knows what a poutine is. That's a poutine. It's just fries, gravy, and cheese. I've never been a huge poutine guy. I've been a huge guy. Not a... Uh, I've never been super into poutines, but I think they say poutine or something the way it's supposed to be said, but poutine's fine. But every now and then they're a fun thing. Very good. All right, I'm driving home. I got Laura her uh, her cheddar veggie straws. I can't function anymore in society. It just doesn't. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna be 700 pounds. This is crazy. Came with chocolate chip cookie. That's fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and eat. I think I might finally admit it. I think I'm struggling with uh, some depression or something. The only time I usually eat like this when I'm depressed, but I don't feel anything, so I don't know, weird, weird, it's just crispy chicken, mayo, and, a pic and pickles, Hmm. I'm a big fan of toppings. <clears throat> yeah. I'll let you guys know when I figure out what's going on with me. Oh. Rumor. Fixed your rumor. All right, very good. Ah. I'm tired. I think after I give rumor her pill. I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed. I'll let you guys know when I know I'm depressed. I don't, like I said, I don't feel depressed. I mean, I don't feel like I'm like, I'm not like having a great time, but I don't feel depressed. The reason I say though, I feel like I might be is because I am eating like a crazy person. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, usually it's like hit or miss of like a bad weekend or bad week even. But everything went a little sideways in August and now like 
cannot recover from it. This is disgusting. I feel like I'd be even worse. Go on now. Oh, you're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're such a stupid girl. You're joking. Good thing you're good looking. Good thing you're good looking, eh, Boomer? Look at this, too. Perfect. It's a big old. She's trying desperately to get a bunch of chicken and not getting it. Oh! Which one do you left here? That's right, this is when you say who's stupid now. Massage your ear so that the uh, eardrops go into your ear. I think I'm just dealing with a lot of work and it's the holidays and everybody's so, everybody's so stressed and so angry all the time. All, don't they know all they need to do is get some smart lights. Hey Google, turn off the kitchen lights. Amazing. Who could be upset with that? Hey Google. Turn off the Christmas tree. Again. It's the greatest thing ever. Hey Google, make the thermostat 15 degrees. Sure, setting the thermostat to 15 degrees. What more could you ask for in life? I'm gonna go take a shower and I'm gonna go to bed.